This is a short video on trading the risks to your business, which is part of our risk management series of videos. Once you've analysed the risks to your business, it's time to consider your options in terms of mitigating or treating those risks. Risks may be treated in a number of ways, including by avoiding the risk or deciding to discontinue the activities or processes giving rise to the risk. For example, a food retailer may decide to remove an item from their menu if they identify that the ingredients have a very short shelf life and they're concerned about food poisoning. You can reduce or mitigate the risk by taking measures to reduce the likelihood or impact of the risk. For example, by providing training in the use of dangerous equipment. You can share the risk by transferring or sharing a portion of the risk to reduce it. The obvious example here is by purchasing insurance. And you can retain or accept the risk by deciding to take no action due to a cost-benefit analysis. For example, to reduce the risk of losing stock and equipment in the event of a flood, a retailer might decide to find a place on higher ground where they can store items from the business off-site. You might also decide to seal the doors and windows with heavy plastic and sandbags to prevent water getting into the store. Risks for owner-operated or micro-businesses will differ from those of small to medium-sized businesses. For example, owner-operators are reliant upon their own health to ensure the sustainability of their business. Should they get sick or injured, their business will cease to function unless a contingency plan is put in place. Insurance is one method of sharing risk. You pay an insurance premium rather than run the risk of not being protected against the possibility of a much larger loss. In business insurance, you can decide which exposures you absolutely must insure against and which ones you can cover yourself. Some decisions in this regard have already been made for you, such as those required by law, for example, workers' compensation, and others required by customers or clients, where lenders will finance a vehicle, but require you to take out insurance before they pass over the loan. As far as obtaining insurance is concerned, make time for a full discussion with an insurance professional who will take you through all the methods of risk cover and put in place what the business needs. If you're not already insured, or your current insurance cover has not been reviewed recently, you should consider discussing your needs with your insurance company or your broker. Aside from insurance, businesses can also treat risks through developing contingency or backup plans, through quality control processes, staff training, by properly maintaining facilities, plant and equipment, by using security devices, you can establish evacuation plans and undertake regular drills and tests. Sometimes it's not possible or cost effective to implement all treatment strategies. For example, you may not be able to afford to purchase flood insurance if you live in a flood prone area because the cost of the insurance is greater than the potential financial loss. In that case, it may be more cost effective to source an off-site storage facility for your stock. Also, it's probably worth mentioning here about cloud computing solutions as a risk treatment strategy. In the simplest terms, cloud computing means storing and accessing data and programs over the internet instead of on your computer's hard drive. The cloud is just a metaphor for the internet. And one of the core benefits of moving to a cloud environment is the ability to have your data secured in a 99% safe environment with numerous levels of redundancy, security and backup. For more information on risk management topics, visit the website on your screen.